there was another lullaby that was in this, the fairy lullaby, that we were able to prove that the lyrics were in the public domain worldwide, but the melody was unclear. And we were like, Mac, we need you to like write, like the lyrics are good to go. Disney has approved them, but we need, we need this to like sound like a lullaby that was written in like the 1800s that like it probably was public domain um and you're just like here you go here are like two versions of what this could be and uh you just knew and you delivered really well on that as well i don't even know it's if how part. it all happened in the background with the fairy lullaby no. <laughs> I, and I chose one of the two. Now I yeah. can't even remember what the other one was. I could sing it to you right now. Again, I won't. But like, I, it's so memorable that even though, you know, we shot that months ago, I mean, in January, in December, I remember it clear as a bell. And then I loved it so much that I asked Cara Delavine to sing it in the finale. Originally, she was going to sing rock a bye baby for the whatever 16th time. <laughs> and instead, I was like, oh, it'll be so interesting if she sings that lullaby that also I found, you know, by Googling like, you know, whatever, <laughs> Middle Ages lullaby. <laughs> and we had seen Queen Mary, um, Bloody Mary singing that to her demon baby in episode four, God bless. And uh, I was like, oh, Cara would know that song because she ostensibly was alive as we reveal in, you know, the 1500s and beyond. Um, and, you know, again, I don't know how many people I hope that like eagle eyed or eared uh, viewers notice that. But even if they don't, it's like it's part of the texture of the season. And a lot of a lot of thought goes into those choices. And for me, I mean, it's simple because it's that thing I always do, the 19th century lullaby melody. You know, we do that on everything. It's like a very standard composer <laughs> thing. <laughs> no, it's what's so great about this job is being asked to do these things that like I've never done, never imagined doing, but I'm going to, I'm just going to do it and hope for the best. And uh, so now I'll probably never be asked again to do a 19th century lullaby melody. But if I, if I, if I do get asked, I'll have something to fall back on. 